Making money is a metric of success here in War Tales. Today we are going to be beginning a brand new campaign and trying to make our first 1000 crowns. We're going to be staying away from anything that feels exploit-like here in early access, so the Edoranian refugees can sleep easy tonight. No war crimes will be committed today. We will be playing on the hardest difficulty setting, and the video is going to play somewhere between a Let's Play and a Tips and Tricks guide, which is going to blow the YouTube algorithm's mind. They're going to have no idea what to do with this video, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. If you guys follow along with this guide, then you too will soon become as affluent as an American civil servant who has spent years regulating the business of their largest donors. Here we are at our beautiful starting spot in Tiltrin, and these two wonderfully helpful blokes over here want to help teach us the basics of combat. Ah, look, a road leading past the stables to the lovely town off shrouded in the distance, but that's obviously not where we are going. Conventional completionist gaming wisdom says that you always go directly backwards from where you are in the starting position because the developers always leave a wonderful little secret for you over here. Past the annoying drunks here, we will be able to enter Mount Altus Salt Mine. We just have to tell the foreman here to chill out to allow us inside, and now we will be able to get to the business of money making. Iron ore, time to appoint our miner, which is going to be the real breadwinner of the party. So what'd you do before you became a mercenary? Well, you know, I worked down in the mines, but I just had to get out of there. You were a slave to the clock. Come into this time, out at that time. No respect from the manager. Yeah, yeah, shut up and take a shift with a pickaxe. Well, now we're up a bunch of iron ore, and it is a salt mine, so we are going to uh, rifle around and see, yes, appoint Susan as our thief, be able to get our hands on this salt. Always good to be able to steal cooking supplies, because then you can just eat through the contraband rather than needing to try and sell it off later. We get our influence back because we helped them out, and we can head off. Why, hello, refugees. What do you have? Um, I was hoping that they would have some food. Or at least some uh, some grain that we could cook with the flour. But I suppose that we don't even have the cooking pot yet, so maybe it's uh, better that they didn't. Our next stop here is going to be going off to the Tiltron Jail. Uh, we want to be able to grab the, the methods of acquiring our fortune. Before we go and talk to the guards, we want to pop into camp, open up the workshop, and be able to use all this raw ore for something that we can barter with just a little bit better. The, the great irony is that the guards will jump at the chance to be able to buy our lockpicks from us. And uh, we want to craft one of these fish hooks as well so that we get the knowledge boost. There we go. We have our very first point of knowledge. We can try and teach our companions how to run. <laughs> oh, we started out. Why, why did we think we were going to succeed if we didn't even understand these basics? Four chains and a little bit of rope should be sufficient for this stop on our adventure, and we can now head off from the jail. Coming up to Stromkop, it's about time for us to take our first rest, uh, but if we can make it into town, we'll be able to pick up our very first set of bounty contracts as well. So, over at the forge... We want to make sure that we unlock the new profession just because this is going to give us plus one strength. I don't think we have anything that we want to actually craft right now. No. We do, however, want our armor repaired. If you can call the rags we are wearing armor. Time to check the bounties here at the Traveler's Feast Inn. What have you got, to Emissary? What do, you, what do you have that's easy for us, please? Please. All right, so here we have a nice easy gang that we can pick up pushing us towards the uh, the western side of Tiltron. And here, the Hadeon gang. That will push us south. Um, that's actually very close by. That's probably where we're going to want to go. Final stop is to be able to acquire a little bit more food here. Will that be all for you? Yeah, I think so. Well, if you want some tips, if you want to do any cooking, then you should really stock up on salt now because... Uh, I heard that the mine managed to lose one of their entire hulls, so we don't know when we'll be getting any more in stock. Well, thanks for the tip, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, time to uh, camp here, get rid of any suspicious evidence. Oh no, we're still wanted. Alright, well, we'll have to dodge the guards as well now. Thankfully, I saw a band of sheriffs dart off into the woods to try and combat a uh, enemy party over there so they're caught in combat 
The hooligans that we are after, though, are deeper into the forest over here. And if we do manage to actually ca- oh my gosh, there's just bandits everywhere. Tiltron is a mess. If we do manage to actually capture some and then sell them off at the jail, we'll be able to cut that wanted level down so we can go back to our, our thieving ways. Okay, this looks like it could get pretty messy, but we'll see. We can actually use knocking out the enemies when they drop to about half health to our advantage here. Here in the early levels, that actually does more damage than our weapons usually do, which uh, definitely changes. It turns, turns about face at the higher levels, but for now, hopefully we can leverage that to a little bit of advantage. Gonna try and drop the leader as quickly as we can because he is allowing all of his companions the guaranteed critical hits. Ooh, the archer knocks us away from being engaged, so they get leader's aggression back. This hoodlum then is going to be able to crit. Wanted to make sure he stepped over that bear trap. There's the crit and poison. Um, is it worth it to bring Lucy up? Maybe it is. Otherwise, he's going to move around and he'll be able to do a multi-strike that's also a guaranteed crit. So, I think we're kind of locked into doing that. Try and wear down this hoodlum and then we get to watch this other guy come around and backstab us. Yeah, there's the spinning strike for nine damage. All right, come on, hang in there, Lucy. Whoa, the hoodlum comes in and poisons her. Ah, oh, great, the boss wants to go again. Wonderful. I think we have to go for trying to drop him right here, so. Oh, yes, Susan comes in with the crit, let's go. There is hope, there is hope now. Okay, uh, we could pull Lucy all the way around be able to backstab this guy i like the idea of being able to focus our fire as much as possible now he is about to go and lucy's not in the safest position oh man another crit okay do i want to run lucy i might i suppose we do have a chance for edmund to be able to step up and draw the focus of these other two characters all right the hoodlum gets his attack off and now hmm actually I could run Edmund down to be able to get the capture. I think we do that so that we do get the capture right here. There we go. Support. Yes, I know, game. I know. We're going to knock out the hoodlum. <laughs> see, that swing is pure non-lethal, as you can clearly see. And then Peter can actually be the one to come around and be able to re-engage with this hoodlum. But the poison is starting to stack up on him, which I don't love. We might want first aid to come across just to be able to pull away the stacks of poison. Yeah, he's going to take three damage at the end of his next turn. Okay, Edmund, time to stand in the gap once again here. And then Susan, do what you do best. Take care of Peter. Come across. Fire! Well, not a crit, but it's still pretty good here. He gets the attack off. I feel like that's still the best way I could have played it out. Then we step up, go for knocking this guy out. Want to keep on advancing close distance with the archer. Ooh, I could taunt over. I think we do. We'll spend the valor point. Be able to get that across. And then Lucy can come in for the backstab. Uh, actually, Lucy, come come up just a little bit more. Amazing. Once again, <laughs> clear non-lethal hammer strike right to the crowd of the head. And he's stunned. Oh, we got the ringleader's dagger. That's so lucky. Yeah, there we go. So we've got our three prisoners here as we all just absolutely limp along. Let's see if we can get them back to jail without the guards um, hopping in and uh, prosecuting us as apple thieves. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The guards are walking the wrong way. We've got a free shot to the jail. As long as these drunks don't decide that they have to talk to us. Come on. No. Oh, why? Because they're such a nuisance. All right, just leave. Hand over the prisoners. Very progressive justice system here. Being able to make 90 crowns a, uh, a prisoner here. 
what would that be if it happened today? So your wages are 18 crowns every other day. So you make nine crowns a day. We just got paid 90 crowns for a prisoner. So you're getting 10 days wages. All right, guys, are level one. So say they're working at minimum wage, 80 hour uh, for the two weeks of work comes out to $580. Hmm. Let me know in the comments, would you guys risk your life to be a bounty hunter for 580 a prisoner? Well, now that we've filled the jail, time to head over to town to be able to collect our actual bounty. That bounty puts us up to almost 500 crowns, but now we've got to reinvest, reinvest back into the business. That is how you're able to get ahead. So we have this lovely companion I've been spying out here in the tavern, Rant Amos Spearman. He is hardworking, which is kind of nice. He's going to be able to gain professional experience a little bit faster. Recruiting him is going to set us back half of our influence and 60 crowns, but I think it is worth it to be able to start expanding our party fairly early here. At least this way, he's not going to be so far behind everyone else in terms of experience. I mean, they're about to hit level two, but uh, he'll be able to catch up fairly easily. Do you have any other jobs that might interest us? Nothing. Oh, here we go. Help requested. Desperate refugees. Bandits have been attacking caravans and travelers along the roads. This must end now or merchants will refuse to travel through Tiltron. Uh, we might be able to help with that. 140 crowns. Sounds pretty nice. It would take us to the east part of Tiltron. Is there anything good over there? I actually don't know if we necessarily care about going for that. I think what we take, if this mini map ever goes away, let's pull up our real map. I think that we take this earlier contract that we picked up to be able to vanquish these guys. We can still try and capture one or two to be able to pop into the jail. Be able to make some more money off of that. And I, uh, I like this particular side of the map for some other opportunities that it will lend us. On our way, we're passing Pedora Mountain Mine. We would love to be able to unlock both mines so that we can keep on doing the cycle of mining and then refining out of the Tinkerer. Um, but that's going to be a bit of a fight and we should be able to pick up a bounty to allow us to get a little bit extra on top as we choose to liberate the mine <laughs> out of purely altruistic reasons. Here is the Wealthy Farm. I think we're well on track here. Oh, man, they are just so far out. Okay, Wealthy Farm. Very fun because this allows us to begin working on the main storyline here in Tiltron. Uh, we've got the, the husband of the farm who is going to be hung. And then his wife wants us to go find his friends who are nearby uh, to come by and help him. And then there's the village chief. And let's see what else is in here. Ah, we could take the wheat. We could definitely take the wheat. All right. Let's get in there. Pop up that pop open that wheat bag. And then was there anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So his friends present a very interesting money-making opportunity. The bandit camp that is hidden along here actually has a fence for stolen items. You lose a lot of value of the goods, but uh, I mean... Thieves cannot be choosers until you open up the black market, which is much later on as you progress down the path of crime and chaos. So here at the lakeside camp, uh, we can speak to Ragar. Yes, Ragar. And also if we wanted to buy these goods for uh, our own use, he's selling them at a discount as well. But right now we don't have a cooking pot to be able to actually cook with. And I don't think we have enough iron to be able to craft one either. Yeah, cooking pot requires four more iron ore. So, man, because our things would combine so well to be able to make a bread and then we could save a lot of money in terms of food. Maybe we hold off, but um, we're gonna choose not to prog progress this portion of the storyline right now, um, because if we do, they will end up abandoning that camp and then we won't be able to use him as a fence for other opportunities. This could be good. Um, we might have been missing an opportunity if we had been, say, trying to connect with all of the merchants along the road. We might have been able to find something valuable that we could have stolen and then sold over there for a little bit of extra money. Let's see. <laughs> Against the odds that the refugees would have anything worth stealing. Yeah, I mean, I could take the call, but I mean, that just feels mean. 
Santa already gives that out just to the naughty children and that's all they've got left. Now here we are getting very close to the gang. We can actually see them right up there. So we're gonna choose to camp a little bit early because that is going to allow us to be able to come into the fight fresh and because we are looking to take prisoners, it will mean that we can go longer without having to feed the prisoners. Like if we fought them right now, we would probably be able to make it up and do the battle, but then we would be exhausted and we would have to camp immediately and then we would have to feed the prisoners. This way we were able to feed only our own party. Quickly hop up here to be able to do the battle and then um, we should be able to turn things around and dispose of the prisoners, hopefully without them taking as much of our own food. Actually, I am very happy with how that combat went. You know, Peter almost died. He was down to two health there, but otherwise we did great. We were able to grab uh, one prisoner here. Uh, what are these injuries? Strength and dexterity reduced by 30%. Okay. Before we get into another fight, we're going to want to make sure that we heal those away. Uh, but Peter actually does get a level up here. I think you take the double up in Khan if he's going to be one of our frontline fighters. And then we have to decide where he goes. Protector, fighter, swords, master. I really hate protector. Fighter and swords master are kind of my defaults. Sword master is more aggressive, more valor point hungry, which at this early stage, we don't have any valor point generation. I feel like we just go fighter. Now we pick over some of the natural resources of this Oh, so abundant land. Uh, come across. I believe I saw some flowers down here. Yes, grab the snow irises. Anything down here in the corner? Well, a little bit of wood. Okay. We'll grab that. Just every little thing we can manage, but we don't want to spend too long. We want to make it back, sell the prisoner, and also be able to pick up our bounty. And then be on to our next thing. Okay, please let there be two iron ore here so that I can craft a cooking pot. That would be, oh, I got one. Okay, we are completely out of food at this point. Maybe we'll be able to bum something off of these starving refugees. Nope, they just got more salt. Uh, okay, okay. Wilbert's fishery, what do you have? Oh, you've got the iron ore. Okay, this is actually, that's really good for us. Does he have other things here? Uh, yeah, it's over here. Okay, I could take two dried fish. No, we definitely take the ore. Okay, take his ore. There we go. We take that. We hop over to camp. And then Tinkerer, Lucy, please build us a cooking pot. I think we actually start switching around the occupations a little bit. Peter is going to be the cook because cook is raw constitution. And then our spearman here is going to go blacksmith because he'll be able to use the strength. And I, I don't really want the constitution going on him because he's not supposed to be taking that many hits. Okay, so Peter, cook us up something nice. We can make five loaves of bread. Does that carry us through to another day? Yes, it does. It will get us into town. We made it. We also got rid of all these uh, stolen goods. We've got a couple knowledge points here, so I really feel like we should be trying to better ourselves. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we do it for the money. And glory is also decent because it will allow us to, it'll pay off later on down the road. Yeah, the Cephalonor gang has risen up in the, the Southwest. We can put a stop to that. We were just over there. If only we had known, if only we'd known there was going to be a bounty out on their heads. Uh, but we will take that but I think our next push is going to be going to help out these desperate refugees, pass by the jail, drop off our prisoner, and uh, keep on plodding along. We haven't seen any animals, which is a little bit bothering because I want to be able to hunt, be able to cut out all the, uh, the cost of rations here. But there we go, three days of rations. Should be enough until our next stop. We've got to pay our wages, so let's go ahead and pay those. Hop over to the cook. All right, Peter. Oh, I have to, I've got to teach you how to make the wolf sausages. There we go, learn the wolf sausage. And cooking the wolves has taught us that uh, we can also do venison and mutton, but uh, the wolves are the best because you actually encounter those as things that you can hunt. The other meats you have to buy. Hand over the prisoner. 
another 90 to us. It looks like the jail has reset to uh, to some extent. These guys are recruitable. Archer, Ranger, I've already got those classes. We're looking for a warrior. I would love to be able to have one of our crazy axemen. Oh, hey, we finally found something to hunt. We're after the boars. Okay, time to pay off some of the uh, the setup that we had. So Lucy gets the double kill there. Uh, I think she cuts across to be able to help out against these boars. And the turn, this guy tries to take his. He has to go all the way around the rocks. Can't do anything. He's caught up on the rest of the pack. Then over here, Edmund is able to pull a switcheroo, attack both of these. Uh, does Wrath finish him off? Five damage, it does not, so we'll just wait. Uh, we will move up a little bit, be able to get a clear shot over to Susan. So we take another Goring there, and then this guy. Thankfully it's still on the armor, so we're doing, we're doing pretty well. Now we want to drop this boar before he takes his turn. That Peter's job, we could capture him. We want to capture one, sure. Let's, no, 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 I need the I need the two rope to be able to make the tent. That's what I need. All right, there we go. So this boar goes down and we'll just stand in front of the other one. Susan takes her shot, brilliantly done. Uh, oh, there is poison over here. Yes, Lucy was, Lucy was spreading the poison with that ringleader dagger. Okay, we'll go the long way around. These two friends will fight back to back. And we are going to make ourselves some more bacon. Okay, this guy wants to go. We'll be able to drop him. There we go, very nice. I could, I probably do move up in case we can get the surround bonus on this boar. I think that's gonna be Lucy's job. Uh, if Lucy, can you hit both? No, you can't. They're too, they're too spread out to be able to hit both. So we'll take this around. Ah, oh, with the crit, we seal the deal. No, 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 this last one's not getting away. I want the meat. All right, Peter, get in there. Make sure he doesn't get the runaway. Cut around the rocks. Slice, slice off the bacon. Brilliant, all the, Brilliant, all the food that we can carry, and two level ups. Oh, amazing. Okay, Lucy, where do we want Lucy to go? Oh, definitely the double crit. <laughs> double crit, yes, please. Conventional wisdom says Valorous Audacity is the default take for the Rangers, but I find that once you get up to the higher levels, Valorous Victory can do just as much. Ah, I still think that we take Valorous Audacity here. Also, yeah. I think the enemies will be durable enough that we should be able to generate some good points off of that. So we'll grab that. And then Edmund levels up our brute. Where do we want to go with him? A Vanguard, Smasher, or Destroyer? I think any of these are really good. Oh, we got double up on strength as well. This guy is going to be a killing machine. Now my favorite build is grabbing Smasher and then going down uh, Valorous Chain, Cruelty, and then picking up the Legion two-handed hammer. I think that build is just amazing. Uh, but I kind of want to play something different right now. So do we go Vanguard or Destroyer? Let's go Vanguard. I have not played around too much with the Vanguard, so we'll be able to experience something a little new. Oh, he's also injured. We should probably treat that. All right, we'll heal that up. Okay, we are over encumbered. That's because we are carrying 16 pounds of boar carcasses. But here come the refugees over to see us. Bandage have been the desperate refugees. Hope requested. Clear them off. So is this just a battle? We just have to fight them? Okay. Do I get a penalty for being over encumbered as I, as I enter battle? I know that you get the penalty if you enter battle and you are tired and you need to camp. Uh, but we're not fatigued. We're just, hey, we're able to pull it off. Okay, brilliant. We can spend our time today fighting then instead of hauling around all of those carcasses from our hunt. Okay, Edmund, you can shut down this poacher right here. Use the ram, shatter their armor. Ah, oh, we'd love to be able to pick up some of this armor. We can do away with the rags that we have been uh, 
stuck with here. And then Peter, you can shut down the other archer. Should open up a lot of opportunities for us to be able to just fo either focus them down or go in onto the hoodlums. Two damage back onto Edmund. Yeah, nothing to worry about there. This attack though, let's see. How much can we focus fire? If we bring the spearman across, we get the, fear, the free spear throw. Pretty good damage. And then we give him the, give him the poke. Probably run back a little bit because he is supported by Susan. How close do I want you? No closer than you have to be. There we go, six damage, pretty solid. Not able to drop him all the way, but very, very close. We do have chains. We would be able to capture a few if we wanted to. Lucy, um, hmm. I mean, I would like to be able to go and then get the poison, but then you'll get engaged by this hoodlum. But otherwise this hoodlum will either turn and tag team over here or onto Peter, which also is not ideal. So maybe we do just come down here. And there's our Valor Point generation, so that does make it worth it. Lucy gets poisoned. That's fine because now they're both caught up next to each other and the ringleader's dagger will start to do work. Here we go. Yes. Oh, the crit is the kill. Cloud of poison adds the poison up there. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that we would be able to get enough support in to stop that hoodlum from getting the attack off against Lucy. So then we make plays on the other side of the map is our option. Come down with Susan. Uh, do I just finish off this hoodlum? Or do I really want to take them prisoner? I think that we just finish them off. Okay, now we can capture this poacher with Peter. Drop him. I don't really want to run Peter through all this poison, but he's only going to take what, one round of damage from it. We should be able to end this very quickly from this point on. Come around here. Be able to make the stab. Okay, and be able to capture ourselves and our second hoodlum. Brilliant work, yes, we got the doublet. Okay, light armor, armor plus 10, movement plus two. Really nice stuff to see there. Susan levels up, she's probably going to be the one to get the doublet. Uh, we go Valorous support here, being able to get Valor points for standing next to allies, and we definitely take the double up on movement. Yeah, to be able to start counteracting, just starting out with six movement. They're so immobile. Okay, is that everything that we wanted to do here? I believe it is. Please have mercy, good sirs, have mercy on us. We didn't attack to hurt you, believe me, that was why. Then why were you stabbing me repeatedly? So we can either execute them to be able to just loot their clothes for cloth. We can give them a border pass to be able to get a hunter's bow, but the hunter's bow is really not exciting. Or we can just pay for their border pass to be able to get the hunter's bow. Again, I don't care about their bow. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. And now after the battle is much later in the day, so we'll be able to camp, eat these carcasses, and also the slaves, <laughs> our new prisoners, here we go. We feed you, but you carry stuff for us. When did I waste the rope to not be able to get the tent? That's disappointing. We already made the uh, the cooking pot, so we're looking to be able to make the tent next. At our stop at the jail, we'll be able to pick up the rope to forge or craft the tent. Uh, we want to eat now. Be able to polish off these carcasses. Um, I do have salt, but I don't have the knowledge point. Okay. So we cannot be able to cook the pork up. What I would have liked to do, we'll just rest here. Once we pick up another knowledge point, we'll be able to spend it on cooking the pork. Hey, we can appoint a new captain. Okay. There's a number of great candidates for captain here. I like being able to make our... Uh, Spearman. The Ranger and Archer are also good candidates. We're gonna go with Susan. Susan, you are our new captain. How does it feel? Captain Susan. I hope Peter doesn't feel usurped there, but uh, 
It just makes sense in terms of the game. Uh, tragically, none of our characters actually even know how to use light armor. The, well, no, no. I think Edmund would be able to. Okay, yes, Edmund can because even though like I want to put medium armor on him to make him a little bit more durable, as soon as you know how to use one level of armor, you can use all the lower levels as well. But he's the only one who has been able to specialize at this point. Well, the jailers must be getting real used to seeing our ugly mugs, but there we go. We've even leveled up in trade and wealth. That's amazing. Ah, 540 crowns earned by delivering prisoners. You gotta love it. And now, because we've leveled up, we have the possibility to negotiate missions in the list of bounties, which is gonna help us make who oh, so much more money. I do want more rope, so we have to use two units of rope to be able to make the tent. Then I want to be able to have just a little bit more on hand for uh, whatever, whatever might come about. And you guys didn't happen to capture like a really capable warrior or anything, did you? No, doesn't look like it. All right. Ooh, there is. We would be able to pick up our our lovely warrior friend if we do the uh, the plagued man quest. I probably should have done that. Well, well, I didn't have a cure for the plague at the time. I probably could have made it back to Tiltron in time to cure him. But then we could have him. Yeah, we'll do that a little bit later. Right now we're doing pretty fine with our party of five. All right, time to be able to craft our new tent. There we go, we are really moving up in the world. We started out with just a pony and a campfire. Now we've got our cooking pot. We've got the tent in place as well. Uh, we're gonna apply the spearman over here. That'll give us more valor points every rest. Uh, what's a good spot for the tent? Yeah, we'll use it to kind of shelter shelter the, the campfire. Or is it a better idea if like the um, the tent opens up on the campfire? Maybe that's better. There we go. I feel like that looks pretty good actually. And then we'll put our little workshop bench here in the foreground. Tie up the ponies. And there is there's our little camp growing. All right, well for this easy fight, the game decided that it should scale all the enemies to level two, uh, which means that now we've got two of our buddies dying and we only have one application of first aid. We'll see who makes the cut to be able to survive. Uh, we'll bring Susan across. I mean, there's no physical way that we can get to Peter, so Peter's down. We're going to be able to apply first aid over here to our spearman, galvanize to be able to keep up with the valor point expenditure, and then we can use shoot. I think we want to be able to focus down this hoodlum. I'd like to be able to put some more damage over here onto the commander, but I don't think I really have... The, uh, the opportunity to be able to do that. Hmm. Yeah, because we're engaged with the archer, we just finished them off. And now Peter makes the sad walk. The saddest walk. Right onto the bear trap. At least he goes down clearing the battlefield for his friends. I think the play here is actually that we slide our spearmen across be able to apply some damage right here to the hoodlum. He will engage with Lucy, and then um, hopefully if the enemies come together on either side of Lucy, well, hopefully she'll be able to survive. I don't know if she can actually take a crit out of the uh, enemy commander. Deals 13 damage and guaranteed to crit. Nope, she will not survive. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to be careful here. We can use run to disengage and then we'll be able to use knockout against the poacher right here. And we'll free up Edmund. And with the final movement points, we can pull Lucy out of harm's way. Be able to re-engage here when the time is right. Now we want to make sure that we do engage with the commander. Um, do I want to do Relentless Charge and apply Slowdown? That might be our play next time. Be able to slow them down and then keep them out of range of being able to hit the rest of us. Let's see. This Poacher, or this Hoodlum, I guess just want to kill him. Though I could move, maybe we move Susan down. And we attack over here, breaks the armor. Leaves us open for opportunities next round to be able to take as many prisoners as we can. Okay, so he's got 11 health. We have two characters able to take their turns. 
should work out for us. It means Edmund is going to eat another attack, but I think he can survive. So there's the attack against the poacher, and then Spearman steps up. Max him out with just, you know, non-lethal pitchfork to the back. Ah, uh, Edmund's dying. But Susan should be able to pick him back up. She's got first aid. Come across. Get your brother back into action. And then we want to pile on here. Big swing. Relentless through. Wrath. Be able to bring things around to a quicker close. That might have been excessive. <laughs> I don't think we actually needed that. And Susan, there you go. Just finish it. I get a second ringleader's dagger? Are you kidding? My luck. My luck on the, uh, the drops is amazing. All right, rest in peace, Peter. We'll try and find another swordsman to replace you. While he may take your place in the party, he will never take your place in our hearts. I was thinking about taking this opportunity while we were on this side of the map to go ahead and liberate Pedora Mountain Mine, even though we have not found the bounty for doing so yet. But now that everybody is just lumping along and we just lost one of our party members, I feel like that would be a foolhardy decision. Instead, we'll simply pay Mount Alterus Salt Mine another visit. I think some of the salt should have repopulated. Oh, yep, we get one of the deposits. So the way that they repopulate is I believe they come in one at a time. So if you give them just a few days, you'll be able to hit one of the deposits. And then a little bit longer, you'll be able to hit two of them. And then it feels like, I'm not sure if this is really true or not, but it feels like it takes significantly longer to be able to pick up the third iron deposit. Okay, remember how we were talking about how progressive the criminal justice system is here in War Tales? What did the pony do? Really? What did the pony do? How did it end up here? Yes! This is my question! This is my question! I can adopt him for 60 crowns. We're so close to being able to hit 1k. If we go back and we turn in the bounty, we hit 1k. But this... I mean... I, we've got to take him. We've got to take the bandit pony. Which secrets are you hiding from me? All right, guys, in the comments, let me know what is the name of the outlaw pony that we pulled out of the jail. Unfortunately, the jail just filled up before we were able to dispose of our friend Pert here. And uh, not that he, I dislike his personality or anything, but we've got to get rid of you. I'm not feeding you. Up to the woodland farm and we should be able to get another awesome companion taurus over here so we speak to his wife taurus has come down with the plague she can no longer take care of him so she wants us to take care of him all right taurus our level two warrior well we know what we're going for we're going for a berserker and we even get yes a double strength up this is so nice now he was famished and he ate five of our units of pork, which is crazy. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and treat this infection. Now you can, if he stays infected, you can go up into the mountains and there is a group of, I think inquisitors who are looking for him. You get a special encounter with them, uh, but I don't wanna mess with that right now. We're just gonna heal him up. And uh, his wife doesn't take him back. She uh, just wants to live without him, so maybe maybe it wasn't love, and maybe he'll be better off with us anyway. All right, Taurus, you're level two. That means you have earned a name and a place of the fire. And I don't know why your portrait's still all plague-infected after we healed you, but uh, I know you already had a name, uh, but we are going for a certain motif here as part of the party. We have to give you a party name. There we go. Something a little more fitting. Hmm, the God Outpost and the Sinister Cave. That could be something. I mean, we're in the area. We might as well help out a little bit. Uh, that will mean that we should start dipping into our resources. And t the movement on Lucy, probably important. Damage is halved. Yeah, that's really bad. And this unit can no longer deal a critical hit. That's fine. That's fine. You don't need a crit. I feel like mobility on Lucy actually is pretty important, so... We'll bring that back on up. 
All right, now we're talking. We can get some influence. We can get some uh, money, and we'll be able to start progressing the fate of Tiltrin. So we are going to accept here. Uh, do we fight the guards or do we fight the uh, the murderers holed up in the sinister cave? The rewards either way are the same. It's just what direction we want to take the story. I kind of like helping out the refugees. The uh, the natives of Tiltrin feel like they're kind of, you know, six in the mud. All right, the battle lines are drawn. And the cowardly captain is way, way, way back, which is fine by me. This guard wants to go next. I think we see what our new companion is able to do. So we're going to chuck the spear in first. And then... Keep it to engage. Come up with a slash. And rampage away. Not a lot of damage when they've got 29% guard right now, but uh, it'll get better. It'll get better. Whoa, 13 right back with the crit. That's disheartening, is what it is. I probably want to help him out so that he doesn't get completely double teamed here. We'll throw the Impale. Hopefully that Foot Soldier will then go up against the Spearman. And then I want to go ahead and engage the Failing Soldier so that he's not throwing destabilization. Well, do I care if he destabilizes anybody? My guys don't have any guard values to be destabilized. I've been playing my other game too long. I just have level five tactics in mind. Ooh. Gets the hit over onto Shasta. Okay. He just joined the band. I don't want to see him depart so quickly. It's really annoying to have to pass up being able to attack multiple enemies here, but I think that I have to engage the captain to be able to keep him from just leveling us with his uh, big shots out of the war bow. So we'll get him engaged and then uh, we want to focus down this foot soldier as quickly as we can. The other guys are holding out for now. It could be Susan's go. We'll see what she can do for us. 10 damage. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Uh, if she comes up around here, she'll be able to generate uh, we're full on valor points right now. She'll still do it. And then, actually, I can spend over here. We get the one health back because we'll make the valor point back. Oh, wow. The captain punches hard. Five damage. Ooh, Shasta's going down. But I'll take you down with me. And then we can use the slash. And then, oh, we're one point short. Yes! We crit. We had to crit. We crit and we gain fury. Amazing, he's a hero. Oh, 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 and now we can come across. Yes, we come in right here. That gives supported, meaning that damage he takes is reduced by 20%. So this next hit, uh, hopefully it doesn't just KO us. Edmund. Yeah, swing your hammer. But do I want to disengage you out? I think I actually do. So we're going to reckless charge right through the enemy. That puts the slowdown on him. Oh, he does reach. He does reach. That's unfortunate. But we'll be able to come across and help support now. Okay, only five damage. That supporting is, is definitely helping out. Now we are able to push him back. Disengages him. I mean... I don't know if I care too much about that. All right. Phalanx Soldier is mad that we broke away from him. I don't blame him. We probably, let's see, we only have one turn before this guy, the captain punches, and then they both go together. So we want to try and focus one of them down. Um, the Phalanx Soldier, I think is the, is the choice here. So we'll come around to the back, be able to swing up. This engages him facing this way, so the other attacks can come in directly from behind, so they're considered ambushed, give us that extra damage, and I believe the extra crit chance that comes along with that. So let's see if you're, oh, we can just knock him out. We won't be able to sell him, but we could just knock him out. 
I mean, it is way better than spending a bunch of Valor points to uh, try and kill him outright. So we'll take that. We'll take that for sure. And then we can still use Rampage up against the captain here. That's pretty fantastic. Oh, Lucy. No. Shasta moved in too close, so now Lucy can't attack. Um, gosh. Okay, we come around behind Lucy. And we throw Impale here. Very good. That gives her the disengage. They get Leader's Inspiration. Oh, no, he's just going to engage. Okay, he just engages Lucy. I mean, I should have seen that coming. Galvanize the troops. We need help. Uh, actually, no, Lucy has a chance. Okay, so we use Run. We make a break for it. And then we hit them with the devious, devious whirlwind. I always want to say devilish. And then we can come right back around. Yeah, give it to him a second helping. Ah, uh, yes. Now, the poison clouds are already out there, so we're not getting more poison on them. This guy wants to go next. Who do I want him to try and fight? I mean, I would kind of love Edmund to be able to step up here. Maybe, well, and he'll get poisoned. <laughs> Poison, poison clouds, not my favorite feature in the game. Maybe we just come around with Shasta. See what we can do here. The Rampage takes up a little bit of damage. Slash takes him lower. We don't get him low enough for Wrath. He's going to knock him out, but that'll be fine. I guess as long as we're able to deal with the captain, but I don't see any issue with that. Come on up. Set up the final kills for our friend Edmund. All right, Ed, drop him. Yeah. And Wrath will seal the deal. Pretty brilliant showing out of us, if I do say so myself. We're able to pick up the guard game, ascend a master doublet, 24 crowns, a training buckler, and some cloth. And then we are able to loot the golden key off of the captain. Time to talk to uh, Berthram. Can't believe he is dead. I really owe you one here. Take this. You deserve it. And there is 100 crowns for us. Oh, it's been so long since I made my Tiltron walkthrough guide. I'm trying to remember which box is better to open up. One of them just gives you a bunch of money and the other one gave you belt accessories. I think the guards have equipment and if you go back in the cave, you can open the chest for like gems and more crowns. So we're gonna take the belt accessories because I like being able to, yes we do. Oh, it's different. Okay, so it's randomized. Herbarium. This comprehensive collection identifies almost every herb and grass from Belior to Alazar. Readers can look up the dried specimens to easily identify various plant species. Troop bonus has a chance to retrieve part of the resources used in alchemy. Ooh, these items are always quite good. So that's actually a backpack accessory rather than a belt accessory. And do we have somebody assigned yeah, so right now the Spearman is trying to fill in as the Alchemist. That's going to change eventually, but uh, there you go. And actually, you get to level up, my friend. Another Valorous support for the team. Aw, 2x critical hit or plus strength or plus con. I'm taking critical hit. If you do the math out, the plus 1 strength versus plus 2 crit is about the same but I have also taken, um, yeah, if we hover over here, troop of bonuses, our critical damage is increased by 10% off of the starting um, option we took to be good at slap games. So critical builds are going to be just a tiny bit better for us by, by 10%. Yes, and we now cannot open this other locked box. And I don't believe they left anything else. Nope, all right, time to head back into town. 
All right, back in town. Time to check over where we stand here. So we got Susan up to level two. This doesn't let her specialize to be able to use armor yet. We have Lucy up to level two also. Still just missing that specialization. She's got the level two ringleader's dagger. Enmund up to level two. Now he has specialized. So he actually will be able to use this guard Gameson. We lose the extra movement, um, but we're gonna go ahead and take it so that he starts to get that little bit of guard value and much better armor. And then our spearmen. Oh, you get, you get your naming ceremony. At level two, you have earned a permanent place in the band. Welcome, Caspian. And then Shasta, time for you to be able to improve. You can drop that barrel lid. It's, it's not helping you that much. All right, so we have to spend 12 crowns on repairing what we've got. Then we're able to turn around and sell the barrel lid for 15. Why are barrel lids that expensive? Then to be able to preserve our potions, we're going to go ahead and pay the apothecary 60 to be able to heal us back up. Definitely looking for a chance to be able to pick up more herbs to craft on our own. We waltz into the Traveler's Inn, collect the bounty. And there we are, 1,045 crowns. Now, shh, that, that red number, that, that 97, it doesn't exist, guys. It doesn't exist. All right, we're just going to take the contracts to be able to clear out this corner of the map and make ourselves a pretty penny for when we pick this up again. Leave a like if you have enjoyed the video. We have gotten off to an excellent start here. We are playing on hard and Iron Man. No saves coming going on here. We have been able to set up a fantastic foundation to be able to take our party forward here in this world. We will definitely be revisiting the troop to be able to make many more crowns in the future. But as the mercenary life goes, you, you make your money and then you pay your wages and then you have to go and reprovision as well. Um, and that all takes its toll. Until next time, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.